Hello. Today I want to show you an interesting trap for the queen in the French defense. Here we go e4, quite a common opening. Black goes e6. We go d4 to control the center. Black goes d5. We defend our pawn with the knight. Black develops their knight on f6. We push the knight back on d7. And here we have a nice structural formula of the pawns. Black goes c5 to put pressure on our center. We go f3 to defend our pawn. They go c6 to put even more pressure, but we defend with our bishop. Here, there's a nice move on b6. It also attacks the pawn on b2, but at the same time applies more pressure on the center pawn. Oh. Fun fact about the hockey goalie is that it's said that he is 90% of the team. Well, because he's the most important part in defense, and at the same time, he starts the offense. Well, you know what's funny? that on this channel I show you the best defenses and at the same time offenses for you to be the best chess player in the world. So, if you want to progress and be 100% of your skill, subscribe to this channel and keep learning. We go E2 acting like we don't see the attack on the pawn. Black takes the pawn and we advance our knight. Black can go b8 with the rook, or they can go d8, and we go g5, and here we're kind of distracting the king and attacking two pawns. But if they go b8, we go a3, trapping the queen. We're preparing a trap. They go a6 to attack our knight, but it doesn't matter. We can forfeit it, but at the same time, we'll win the queen. We go b1, and here, as you can see, the queen has no place to run except for a2. They go a2, we go c1, they take the knight, but it doesn't matter for us because after going a1, the queen has nowhere to go, so it takes the rook, and here we win the queen.